Hello, uh, this is a quick video I created to demonstrate a new feature I tried to develop uh, over the MakeJab add-on for Kerbal Space Program. As you may know, MakeJab is uh, a tool that is able to perform uh, automatically some very advanced tasks in Kerbal Space Program. And my purpose here was to create a new module that is able to script uh, those uh, features uh, together and try to create fully automated uh, flight on Kerbal Space Program. To begin, I'm really sorry, but uh, as you may guess, English is not my native language, so you will have to deal with my bad French accent until the end of this video. To demonstrate the capabilities of this new feature, I created an Apollo-style mission. Uh, with a main vessel that has two big boosters that are intended to put the vessel into orbit with one main engine and uh, a lander attached uh, to the vessel and the lander is attached through a docking port and we also have a common module at the nose of the ship uh, with also uh, at the the top of the ship one docking port that is intended to connect the lunar module uh, during the course of the mission. Okay, so let's move to the launch pad. This is in the launch pad that we will configure all the scripts we will use inside the mission. You can see in the UI that I added a scripting module inside the MakeJab standard UI. And the scripting module has a dedicated UI where you can execute all the actions you would like. Uh, you can add actions inside your script, just clicking the Add button. For example, the first one is the, the timer. The timer waits for a predefined amount of time. The second one is Decouple, where you can undock a docking port. That's pretty straightforward. You just click the decouple at the action and then you can select the docking port you would like to undock. And you can click on the, the I button to see what kind of docking port we are talking about. Here we are talking about the docking port of the lander. The next one is the staging. In the staging action you can uh, execute the next stage or any other stage inside your vessel. You can also target a dock and select the docking port you would like to target and the docking port where you will control from, uh, the one where you will select the control from here. That's very useful when you would like to use the, or the docking uh, automated module from MakeJab. The target body can target a celestial body. You can select any body, for example the moon here, the pause action will execute uh, a wait uh, during your script where you need to manually click on a button to continue your script. That's very useful to perform manual actions. The crew transfer can move crew members from one pod to the other, for example, Jebedia Kerman from the command pod to the uh, lander can. That could be useful. The quick save will execute a quick save. The RCS will help you to enable or disable the RCS on your chip. The SAS will also be used to enable or disable uh, the SAS stability automated system. And you can choose uh, if you would like to execute it on the main ship or any other ship. You can also execute a node. Uh, the next maneuver node or all maneuver nodes. You can plan a maneuver and you have, uh, I have four maneuvers here that are already pre-configured inside the module. I do not configure all the maneuvers but I will add more later. You can also manage a warp uh, for example, when you change the sphere of influence of your vessel. And you can also manage uh, pre-existing MakeJab modules, for example, the Ascent module, the Docking Autopilot, or the Landing module. 
And the idea here is that you configure all the setup of the module inside the module UI and the scripting module will perform a snapshot of that. When you had it, it performs a snapshot of the uh, setup you have made inside the UI and it will reconfigure the module according to what you set here. Also one useful feature is that you can save and load your scripts and you have four different slots pre-configured where you can save or load your script. For example here I save the script, I clear the script and I just need to click on the load button on slot 3 to load again the script we previously set up. Okay, so to make a live demo, uh, I already created a script uh, for this mission. So the first step is the ascent guidance where we we'll try to have an orbit at 100 kilometers. We will then stage and discard the two booster modules. We will target the moon and try to uh, execute a Hohmann transfer to the moon. Then we will of course execute the next node which is the Hohmann transfer and a stage to remove the last uh, stage, the main engine uh, from the ship. We will wait for 60 seconds uh, to try to get some space between uh, the command module and uh, the main uh, the main ship the main engine we will transfer Jebediah Kaman from command pod to the lander can we will then decouple uh, the docking port from the lander can and execute the next stage to uh, have some small solid boosters that will uh, get some space between the command module and the lander can during 10 seconds. Then we en enable the SAS on the lander can with Jebediah Kamen that will maintain the orientation of the vessel and dock, uh, try to um, uh, set the target as, as a dock, the dock and the lander cam and command from the dock from command uh, module and then run the docking autopilot that will connect both together. We will then wrap to a uh, sphere of influence transition, try to wait until we are onto Munar orbit, wait for 10 seconds, circularize the orbit at 10 kilometers around the moon and execute of course the next node which is the circularized orbit change the periapse to 10 kilometers uh, at the next apoapse to circularize the orbit because we have a small engine and the orbit won't be perfect unless we do that and of course we execute the next node which is the last uh, circularization node and the last step is to enable the SES on the on the common ship. So when clicking on the compact GUI, we can compress the GUI to only the active uh, action. Clicking on start, we start the script and you can see we are waiting for liftoff. Clicking on the liftoff and there we go. So here the Ascent Guidance module is active and it will try to create uh, an orbit around 100 kilometers. It's performing the gravity turn. Here I'll accelerate the video because uh, it does not have any interest here. Uh, the Ascent module is doing its business and is uh, executing the, the circular orbit for the ship. When the ascent module is over, uh, the next action is to execute the staging and as you can see I'm dropping the boosters here and it has been aut automatically executed because the ascent module was over and sent this information to the script module. If you look at the full UI you can see that we already executed four tasks, the ascent guidance, the staging, we already targeted the moon, 
and then we are executing the Oman transfer uh, to the moon. As you can see in the map here, the Oman transfer node is already set up and we are just waiting for the execution of this node to perform our moon encounter. The module is wrapping the time automatically. So the next node is the Oman transfer. The system is pointing toward the target and is executing the burn for the next node. Next step is to drop the third stage. So we keep only the lender and the common module and we wait for 60 seconds to try to get some space between the third stage and the uh, uh, lunar module and common module. Then a lot of things will happen in a few time. We will separate the common module from the lender module that will fire the solid boosters and get some space between the command module and the lunar module. Uh, we will um, target the dock, the docking port of the lunar module and command from the docking port from the command module. So first step is to transfer Jebediah command from the command port to the lander can, then decouple uh, the docking port, staging, wait for some time and uh, enable the SAS and the lander can, try to uh, target the dock and then run the docking autopilot. And the docking autopilot will connect uh, both vessels together. and docked, there we are, and the next step is to uh, warp until we uh, transition from sphere of influence, so uh, we will warp until we encounter the moon and are under the moon influence. Okay, that's it, and so next step is to circularize an orbit around the moon and the node has been placed automatically uh, to try to get a circular orbit at 10 kilometers above the moon. And now we are executing the next node and the system will auto warp until we need to decelerate uh, to execute the circularized node. The deceleration burn will need a lot of time, so I'll accelerate the video here, but uh, I think you catch the ID behind uh, the new module I tried to develop for MakeJap 2. Uh, I will try to submit it through GitHub so everybody can get the benefit from it, and uh, I hope it will, uh, it will work and you, you will get this in one future release for MakeJap. Thanks for watching and uh, have fun with Kerbal Space Program and with Mary Jeb too.